Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. It's all about how do you turn on background blur on Google Meet. Let's get started. So if I come here to my Google Meet, and let's say I either start or I just go into one, and I don't care if you go into it from Google Chrome, Google Classroom, Calendar, however you get in your Google Meet, you'll see that I don't have a button right here for background blur. And even if I join now, if I come here to the three dots, I don't have anything about background blur. So what I need to do is go turn it on. And I'm gonna show you why you may not actually have that button turned on automatically. So if I come to my settings for Chrome, so I'm gonna come here to the three dots and click on settings. When you do that, you get to this screen. So I'm actually going to scroll down, 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 and go to advanced. Click on that and scroll down more until I get to system and it has use hardware acceleration when available. I have it turned off. If you already have it turned on and you still don't see background blur, it may be because you're on a school account and background blur has not been released just yet to your school. But if you have this turned off, let me show you quickly how to get it. Now, a little tangent. I have this turned off because at some point when Google updated Google Chrome, what started to happen was even though I have this turned on, to where it says, every time I start up Google Chrome, start on the new tab page, which looks like this. What started happening was, at some point when Google updated, if I had, let's say, a whole bunch of tabs opened on different things, and then I came here and clicked the X, when I came back to Google Chrome, even though I told it, start on the new tab page, all of these tabs would open and it was driving me crazy. So I did some research and it said, in order for it to act the way you want it to act, go turn this button off. So that's why I have it turned off. But then when Google updated, when Google Meet updated, I wondered why I didn't see it. And the answer was, I have to go turn this back on. So you're gonna have to decide, do you want the blur or do you want your Google Chrome to work the way it's supposed to work? And I have tested it and it's still working that way when I turn this on. But just for you guys, because I love you so much, I'm going to turn it on. And when you do that, you have to relaunch. So when it relaunches, it's actually, this is going to take effect for all of your Google Chromes that you have on that computer. So really, you don't have to do this per account at all. So now if I come down and I click on Advanced, and I come down, I'll see that use hardware acceleration when available is turned on. That means now when I come to Google Meet, and let's say I want to go to this meeting, ta-da, I now have a turn on background blur. So it actually already turned it on for me. This is it off, and this is it on. So it blurs your background. It's kind of like a virtual background, except it's just blurry. So you see if I kind of move my hand around, you can kind of see around my head and my hand. Um, I have a definitely personal opinion about blur and virtual backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. I'll keep it to myself. But there you go. That's how you blur it. So you and your students can actually blur it before they even get into the meeting. So now when I click join now, you'll see my background is still blurred. And if I'm in the meeting already, I'll just come down here to the three dots. And now I have turn off background blur. And then of course, if I wanna turn it on, there you go. So that is how you get background blur turned on. Again, if you go to your settings and you already see this button turned on, and you don't have background blur just yet, and maybe because your district hasn't released those um, those updates yet. And when I say released, that doesn't mean like call them to get it to release. They may have it on delayed release. So even though Google puts it out, they wait a week or two just to make sure it doesn't crash your system or anything like that before it hits your account. It's actually a very smart thing for districts to do. So there you go. That's how you get background blur on Google Meet. Good luck.